You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. Formerly Bulletproof Radio. A state of high performance. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. Today, we're going to talk about EMFs and your quantum energy field. This is a special upgrade spotlight edition of The Human Upgrade. And what these are are short episodes where I can just sit down with someone who's created a new kind of technology, ask questions, let the Upgrade Collective ask questions as well, and get a deeper understanding of it. And yes, I just did say quantum energy field, and it still kind of bothers me to say that, but there's stuff going on here that we don't have better words for, so I'm just going to have to, well, call it like I see it, as they say, and there's some really cool stuff going on here including the fact that you can see a change in biology when it's exposed to harmful EMFs. The company that I'm talking about is called Lila Quantum, and Philip Samor von Holzendorf is the uh, is the CEO. Philip, welcome. Thanks for having me on. Now, you've been on a couple times, actually, where we talked about the science and benefits of just quantum energy in general. And for listeners who are sort of saying, Dave, what do you mean quantum? Like quantum biology is a PhD subject. Quantum computing is a PhD subject, and we're actually shipping quantum computing stuff right now. So it's not like quantum doesn't exist. It's just overused in marketing. And I think this is a case of a company who's actually doing something in that field that is noticeably effective. First off, straight up, what are quantum energy fields? Well, quantum energy is the energy behind the matter. It's pretty much the energy that we have in each cell and that every living organism has in each cell. So we're basically walking um, quantum fields, if you will. It's the it's really on a below subatomic level. Um, that's the energy that we're talking about. And yeah, you mentioned all these fields and um, that's, that's very true. Also, I want to mention that in 2022, the Nobel Prize for Physics was awarded for work on quantum entanglement. And that's exactly what we're talking about today because we're talking about quantum upgrade, which is you know, kind of like the sister of Leela Quantum. And that really works through quantum entanglement. And what I find fascinating is that, well, there's a Nobel Prize for Physics, but all they do is really some theoretical modeling, which is great because it gets into the public awareness. Well, we actually work with the applied quantum energy field, which, which you can show, you can measure it, you can demonstrate how it works. It's kind of cool. And we'll get into that. When you say you can measure it, that's going to get the attention of a lot of our you know, doctors and science-minded people who are, who are listening to the show. How do you measure it? Like, What's the unit of measure? Yeah, so... Currently, science is still playing catch-up in measuring the field itself. I don't know how long that'll take until we'll be able to really measure that and have scientific instruments for that. But what we can easily measure is what effect it has. So, And you can measure that over and over again. So, for example, we know that, that uh, if we, you know, if, if someone leverages the quantum upgrade, the blood improves, and we'll get into that. I'm just highlighting the heart rate variability improves, parasympathetic, um, ATP production increases. Those are just a few examples of things that happen, and they don't just happen like 5% of the times, 30% of the times, so far in 100% of the times. So you can literally see what happens. Um, quantum upgrade is, is one of those things, when you first contacted me about it, I said, well... I don't think I really want to talk about this because it's a little bit too woo-woo, uh, to be honest. But I said, you know, I'm willing to give it a try. And I think it's made a difference. Uh, and I, I, I would not choose to turn it off. Um, and I'm running it right now. And I have been ever since you first came out with it. And this is a remote service. And I know many people, including me, have worked with energy workers who can affect you at a distance. Um, very, very meaningfully sometimes. And Joe Dispenza talks about it. Dr. Barry talks about it. Uh, John Amaral talks about it, who's been on the show. So like, there's something, some way we affect others. And you know, whether it's because our hearts have a magnetic field or whether it's something bigger, it's probably something bigger because magnetic fields don't work well over 1,500 miles. So 
in my mind, quantum upgrade uh, type of thing is possible because I've seen it. And you did a double blind <laughs> placebo controlled study of your service. And this should, by the way, if you're listening to this and you're a skeptic, you should be pissed right now because this study shouldn't be possible. What happened when you turned on the quantum upgrade service with people who didn't even know if it was turned on? What did you find? Yep. So indeed, uh, there were two randomized sham controlled double blind studies uh, in regards to the blood. And as you said, the people had no clue and it was also double blinded. That means that the 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 guide or doctor that was in the room w with these people also had no clue when, what would even happen, if anything. So they, they just had instructions to take a drop of a blood and then to then it was analyzed and then take it again, take it again. That's really all they knew. And within a very, very short period of time, we're really talking minutes, they could see that the red blood cells improved and they saw it on live video because it's called live blood analysis or dark field microscopy. You can see actually the change as it happens. And so the red blood cells improved, the blood got more oxygenated. The red blood cells that, that tend to clot, you know, they look like money rolls sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, they started to be separated like they're supposed to and came into really towards an optimal state. But not only that, they even looked at the white blood cell activity and motility, which increased in 100% of the cases, like the optimization of the red blood cells. By the way, stage one and stage two of blood clotting, when that was seen because of Wi-Fi impact, um, that was reversed already within just a few minutes. This is not using the Leela quantum cubes. This is using no. the remote service that you're that is, Yeah, we're just talking about quantum upgrade. That is indeed completely remote. That was, and it was not like in the same room that was, I don't know, like, miles and miles and miles away. Um, so it was really over distance. And they also saw that parasitic load decreased quite significantly, actually. That's something we had never looked at before, and they they encountered that wow. in, in this study. So parasites went away? Well, yeah, at least the parasitic load that you can measure in the blood uh, decreased, and it was quite substantial. So it, it didn't go away completely, but it decreased substantially, I think, way over 50%, and I think it was 15 minutes. It, it Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually pretty good. And then cholesterol levels also decreased. So there was really measurable impact on, on various levels. So that was first a pilot study because we that's how it usually starts. You know, you, you grab a few test persons right. and then see, you know, does that really, do you really see what you expect? And then they had a larger study and the same thing was proven. Uh, in 100% of the cases, again, that's important to know because it, it really happens so far each and every time. That was the blood study, but then there were more studies. And so the Base Institute in, in Europe, they, they are the largest testing institute that's independent in Europe in regards to biofeedback and biosystem analysis. They also did a lot of tests actually in regards to animals and uh, also in regards to humans, where they looked at uh, cellular voltage and they looked at the, the health of each of the different organs. And they also found an optimization that took place also within just minutes across the board. But it gets more interesting because so we, we keep doing these because we understand totally that, you know, remote service, like you in the beginning, you said, wow, you know, that's mm -hmm. far out there. You know, I need to try it before I know, and then I need to know if it really works. And then you encounter it. Well, <laughs> shit, it really works. <laughs> and, but that's, we know that people out there have a hard time um, with that. That's why we try to spend a lot of money on research and let institutes and labs test our products. So there was an ATP study done here in the US. I know you know about it, but the listener don't. And um, yep. so first, um, the study was done and it showed an improvement, an increase in ATP production that was around like 6 8%, um, which is already great, to be honest. And it showed it yeah. in you know hundreds of thousands of cells over the control group. And then we all had the feeling that was lower than we all expected it right and so we were not satisfied and and then 
talked to the professor and said, maybe I, I think we missed something. And so what actually happened is that, so they had these hundreds of thousands of cells. It's like, I, I think 96 cell wells in the control group and 96 in the other group. We asked them how far separated were those in the study because we're never present, obviously. It's just a specialized lab that does it. They said, well, it was just like, you know, like two feet or something. And then we said, well, now we know uh, what may be the issue causing that it's not higher than 6% because that if we charge remotely, then there is also a field around what we're charging. So the, we expected that the control group was impacted positively as well. So then there was another study done to rule that out completely. And that actually showed an increase in ATP production that was 20 to 25%, which is pretty cool. That's insane. Yes. Uh, just just to be straightforward, 25% increase in ATP. I mean, I, I've written whole books on on mitochondria and ATP in, in the brain. That book is called Headstrong. I talk about it somewhat in Smarter, Not Harder, the brand new book. Uh, but a 25% increase, that's, you took your MCT oil, you took your coffee, you took uh, basically D-ribose maybe, coenzyme Q10. Uh, you do all that stuff, stabilize your blood sugar, and maybe take some B vitamins if necessary, and some NAD, uh, and some PQQ, uh, and maybe then you're going to get a 25% boost, maybe even more than that in a few cases. But um, this is just from a remote service that you turn on. Does it peak and ebb, or does it kind of go up and stay up? Did you measure like how long of a duration you get this? So this last study was done for about an hour, and they took... I think five or six measurements. So they started at five minutes, I think, and then they measured constantly to see like where does it go up and 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 peak and so on. And it was it was pretty constant throughout that whole time. Our expectation at this point is that um, it levels out at some point until you then turn it off and then turn it back on, or you you set higher levels, which, you know, in the, the quantum upgrade, you can flexibly set the strength and power levels. And so we'll, we'll have to see, you know, how, how long that increase lasts. I don't think, and I don't expect that you will run at a plus 20% uh, constantly because what the quantum upgrade actually does, it, 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 it also harmonizes and balances, right? So as soon as it would be too much for the body to run at these uh, heightened activities, then it would just level it out uh, to go down. But I mean, this is an amazing finding for athletes. And there are actually several professional athletes also here in the US, like one of the top pole vaulters, some actually world champions that are using this now because they have understood if they start to practice with this, they can actually get deeper into what they're trying to perform and then in the actual performance they use the boosters where in the booster you can even set higher levels and obviously you have higher activity and that's exactly where you want it in a competition right that's where you need your body to be at ab absolute top state so yeah so it has implications and so this is this is great and it will be followed up by more studies in regards to wound healing where cells, you know, will be um, you know, having an issue, you know, they'll be scratched and then the control group will be scratched, scratched as well. And then same thing, we'll see, you know, what's the faster rate of, of wound healing with that. So that's the next thing we're going to do in the next 30 days. But there's still more, but I stop here at this point first. That's pretty amazing. And so I'm putting my myself back in the mind of someone who hasn't been to Tibet and hasn't studied all these different lineages and, and things, as well as all the neurofeedback experiences, all of my, this is nuts, alarm bells would be going off. Just like, like this shouldn't be possible given my model of reality. What do you say to people who, who are just like, that isn't because it can't be? Well, I, I, I truly feel with them and have understanding for it because like you probably, if you had told me this 15, 20 years ago, I would have said, I don't think this is possible, right? And then, you know, show me the evidence. I need to feel it for myself. I, I, I can't believe it. You know, how would that work? And and I think most people really nowadays have a hard time because they're not tuned in with their 
true self with their inner power. They're just living yeah. in the box of the five senses. And I think it's the time though to get out of that. And and a lot of people, if they really are curious, I'm going to show them everything. I'm going to give them tips on how they can sense it. You know what they can do also with a quantum upgrade you know we have a free trial that we can talk about so people can actually test it and see you know if it works for you it works for you if, if you don't think it works for you then don't but then if there's there's some people out there's a very small percentage of people that are so closed-minded they would they question it and they don't want to know they really don't want to know because the whole view of their world would collapse at that point and they just it, it's a inner fear, and those people, I just leave them alone. Honestly, I say, hey, you know, it's fine. I don't need to convince anyone. To be honest, we know it works. Yeah, I just wanted to mention. Sometimes with these people, actually, I get very great impulses and and challenges because if someone is really on that completely closed-minded edge, then they say, well, I want to see this and I want to see that. And then I think I'm like. Okay, well, let's just work on it because you know if there's another test, another study, uh, you know, at some point when we had our first test, people said, "Well, but it has to be a sham controlled study. It needs to be a randomized and double blind or single blind." I'm like, okay, let's figure out how we do that, and then we'll do that. And so it 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 helps us grow as well in a way. I at least wanted to mention that. Okay, I I, I like that. That's that's true. Um, cognitive dissonance, you, you might cause it, right? Um, okay, you did something with BrainTap, and, and for listeners, if you're a long-time listener, you know about BrainTap. This is a company that makes really interesting light sound goggles. Um, they're always at the biohacking conference I put on, which is the the largest and oldest uh, biohacking conference. Uh, thousands of people in Florida in June, biohackingconference.com. You'll see BrainTap there, but you'll also see Philip there, uh, I think for Quantum Upgrade and for Leela Quantum. But what you did is you talked to BrainTap and you did some other study. Tell me about what happened when people use Quantum Upgrade and BrainTap. Yeah, so, and indeed, I, I love the BrainTap folks. They're they're really good guys and trying to do great things. And they have a very interesting testing method where they test a lot of different markers. And, and you can do these before and after tests that people that have been at your conference, they know. So they test before and then they test with their uh, brain tap headset and then they can show you the improvement of that so we indeed talked with them they were really interested in what we're doing and they tested and they were like well this all sounds very interesting and i told them i think with our quantum upgrade that would be a perfect you know um merge of of two different uh, products that could improve the experience for for the people and the markers so they ran a study we were not involved other than that we did the charging, of course. So it was really on their own. Um, and, and kudos to them, you know, that they're so honest uh, also about it because you could also find companies out there that even don't don't want to say there's still improvement, right? Um, so what, what happened is so they had test persons coming in into their office and they had a before test and they had a then the, the protocol, the, they ran a program with their brain tab headset that was uncharged. And then they had their markers afterwards. And then uh, a week and two weeks later, they had the same people come in again and they again did a before test. And they ran exactly the same program, exactly the same headset. The difference was that the quantum upgrade was turned on. Uh, you know, actually their, their headset was charged. And yeah, they, they saw significant improvements in all these different markers uh, beyond what was already improved before. So it, it takes it further. And, and they mentioned, and I still haven't gotten the full report yet, so I can't mention all the details, but they definitely mentioned parasympathetic, um, uh, HRV, and, and several other markers that they looked at. So, you know, once, once we have the data, then, you know, I'll talk with them and I'm sure that we can share it with you and, uh, and everyone okay. else. At this point, I, I would say I, I'm convinced because every time I've, and we've met, we've had lunch, we've talked quite a few times. And every time I'm thinking, man, I, I just don't know if I can, um, you know, if, if there's enough evidence for me to credibly talk about it, you always come back with more and more studies and I can feel something's going on here. So guys, I don't think we understand 5% of, of quantum stuff, to be perfectly honest. We're, we're just understanding it exists. You might've seen the study where every time your heart beats, the 
proton spin reverses in all the cells in your brain. We just saw that for the first time I posted about it. And this is like the most proof there is that our systems are quantum systems, uh, not just chemical or mechanical or even electrical systems. We've talked on the show about how when you have the Lila quantum quantum block, put your hand in it, changes blood flow dynamics, uh, which is really, really cool. What difference, if any, do you get from the quantum upgrade, the remote service that just kind of follows you around versus having a Lila quantum block? Should you have both? That's a great question. So, and they're indeed complementary. So, one, the the blocks you can use them f- um, obviously to create a better field at home and all of that. But you can also charge your foods. I think we talked about food allergies and body stress responses that can be um, you know, reduced quite significantly if you charge beverages or, or foods uh, in, in a block. That you cannot do with a quantum upgrade. You actually need a physical device. But in order to, and, and by the way, you can even put a picture of yourself into the uh, into a block. But the, the problem is that it's, at some point, this will be too much and it's always at the same level. Um, the quantum upgrade is literally, it, it has the, same technology as basics but it's way further developed so it's a literally a huge system and it's it's completely upgraded uh so it it has a specific harmony and buffer feature so even people that are relatively new to this they can tolerate 24 7 a quantum upgrade uh quantum energy on at least the lower levels the, the kind of like the default levels without uh, having an overwhelmed nervous system, without starting to detox like crazy, which, you know, that is something very important. So that's one of the things. Then you can completely customize it because on the Hawkins scale, I think a lot of people are familiar with the Hawkins scale, you can set different levels on the Hawkins scale for your daytime and your nighttime, if you have the service for yourself, but you can have it for your car, for your home, even for your business or your pet. So it depends. You can set these levels and can say, okay, for the night, I personally, for example, I choose 500 for the night because you, um, the field doesn't, doesn't lower your own um, vibration or consciousness level. But uh, the, and the higher the field, the stronger the quantum energy the the more stimulating it is also and at nights i prefer to have it at the level 500 sometimes at 600 and i actually run the inner peace frequency usually with it and you need a carrier like the quantum energy in order to transmit a frequency you couldn't transmit just the frequency it just is impossible um and during the day then you can go way higher and um you could set it to 1000 on the hawkins scale for example and the booster, which is available for 30 minutes a day, or if you want to set multiple boosters, you're welcome to do that as well. You can set it three times or four times even. You can even have higher levels. Okay. And after, I don't know if you noticed that in, in, in your um, uh, back end there, but in your my account, but after a certain period of time, we automatically unlock higher levels for each user. And we do that after a certain time because... In the beginning, for most people, those levels would be too much. They would literally be too much. And and people have the tendency right away to do the strongest and the hardest. And what is it? Know. What does it feel like when you say too much? I mean, people are asking from the upgrade collective. Like, what does it feel like when you turn it on? What what does it do? So what would happen if I turned it up all the way? So and it certainly depends a little bit on the person because you know, there's a difference between someone like you, you have who has done energy work already and all of that, and someone that you know, has worked for the last 10 years at McDonald's and has never done any consciousness or energy work and lives a very unhealthy life. And now he's exposed to this the first time. So that's an extreme example. But that person would start very, very quickly to detox, quite crazy, and probably at some point feel pretty uncomfortable because uh, it starts to energetically probably contract because the energy, while subtle, is quite powerful and it brings up stuff. And it starts a detoxification process, which is energetic, but also physical. So that person needs to drink a lot of water and and rather stay at the lower levels at first. But you get used to that at some point. And then you vibrate higher, your cells upgrade, and then you can go to the next level. That's how I would approach it. 
Okay. I, I think you're wise on that. And and guys, if you're saying, what do you mean? Is this can't be look, you can cook another person if you know how to do it. You have the right energy and they are not um they are not at their full resilience and strength. Um, it is a well-known energetic technique. There are actually dozens of them uh, where you can actually cause harm to another person. And if you think that doesn't exist, hey, there's a lot of other stuff that probably doesn't exist either. Um, but I will just tell you, um, yeah, you can do that. And um, it is possible to cook yourself. And uh, that that's just part of, part of reality. Um, and one of the things that I had to learn to do um, probably more in my twenties was to actually learn how to like turn down the chaotic energy of my system. Cause I could just bring it into a room. And if you're unaware of that, it just looks like that's reality, but you realize you can just like calm yourself or you can like, like not quite broadcast so strongly. Uh, it's, it's a real thing. Um, and what that means though, is that if that's possible in any case, and we know because your heart rate variability will entrain with other people's, um, th there is, there is a proven, well, I don't know if I can say mechanism, but a proven effect there. So uh, I would say, um, having overdone it myself more than a few times, <laughs> you probably should take Philip's advice, <clears throat> even though I didn't. And like, this is my subscription page on here. You turn it on. And once you turn it on, look, you're probably going to have a placebo effect because you just knew it was turned on. If you really wanted to avoid that, what you do is you'd call a friend and say, here's my login name and password. I'm gonna use, there's by the way, thank you for gifting listeners a 15 day free trial. Quantumupgrade.io and then uh, you enter code Dave and you just give them 15 days of service. You could, you could go and you could turn on right now. But what you could do is you could give that code uh, to a friend and say that you want them to turn it on for you sometime over the next week and then not tell you until after the 15 days is over and then go back and look at what your life was like. That would be pretty much removing the placebo effect and just say, you know, hey, how was it over the last three weeks? Not even saying what day it got turned on and then you can go back and be curious. But if you turn it on, you could be like, oh, I feel, you know, um, tingling and you know, the sense of, of elation, maybe it's real. Maybe it's you convincing yourself. Um, there's no way to do that without someone else being in charge. And that's why we, you know, have only these placebo-controlled studies so that it's very clear that it, it always works 100% of the time. And yeah, I like that suggestion. That's a good idea. There's other ways to do it just for yourself because you will be able to get into that. Even if you're a person that is not sensitive at all to energy. You think, oh, that does not exist at all. Well, then turn it on. Just, you know, maybe take my advice for at least the first two, three days that you're not taking it higher than the default levels um, just so that your system gets used to it. Start drinking more water and then you can play with the booster because the booster will be for 30 minutes and then if you set it for 10 minutes, for, for 10 a.m., for example, in the morning, you know, I don't know, you have a walk with a dog or, or something uh, where you think, okay, now I can also pay attention. You will feel the energy ramp up. Actually, within five minutes, between 10 and 10.05, it would start because the system is not completely real time. It's near real time. It's within five minute lag time. And then when it goes down, you'll also notice it. If you can't notice it the first time, just Practice it, and and you will at some point uh, feel that. That's the way to do it, and that's also a way, frankly, on how you can learn to feel yourself more. Because that's one of the struggles in nowadays world well, that we're completely not feeling ourselves again anymore. And so that's the way how you can practice that. Um, if I turn it on around me, will it affect people near me? So you turn it on. Are people in the room going to be getting this, or is it somehow tied to your tissues? Like how does how does that work? So if you use the so-called quantum upgrade for home, then everyone in the home, actually on the same, on the whole property, unless you have an apartment and you specify the apartment number, then it's just in the apartment. Everyone in that room, house, or property will be um, having the benefit of that energy and they'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to test them. If you have it for yourself only, then you affect them in a different way because they notice your higher vibration and the field around you. Well, if they're trained, they'll know and they'll see it. Uh, if they're not trained or can't see or perceive energy very well, they'll still notice it, but they'll notice it subconsciously. So that's pretty much how they would notice. But it's not that they would really 
have the benefit of it, but you can have it for your phone. And that's a little bit different thing. So if you have it for your phone, indeed, there will be a larger radius. Um, and then someone that is very near to you would actually also benefit from that field. Uh, and and I, I have a couple other questions from the Upgrade Collective. There's a lot of questions. One from Marilee, she's got two infinity blocks in her house and she has a number of the cards. So would that be an overload if you use Quantum Upgrade in your house and you've got Leela Quantum devices all over the place? It's a good question. Um, if you have just a couple devices, it's definitely not an overload. Also, if you didn't just have them since yesterday, then you're already very used to this type of energy. And then you can use you know, the blocks for charging your foods and things like that. And the quantum upgrade would be really in addition to that, that you manage, manage it and you can level it up and down. It's, it's a personal decision. I mean, if you have three infinity blocks, you can do a lot of things with that already. Um, and I, I'm definitely, I don't want to tell you, definitely get the corner upgrade. Feel for yourself. Maybe test it, you know, go test it with, with a trial and then see, you know, is that, how is that for you? And how is that, how is that different? I think that's what I would suggest. You definitely have a lot more flexibility and customization with it. And if you travel, for example, it's always with you, right? So, I mean, I can fly to Istanbul right now and I'm always in the field because of the quantum upgrade. With a block, you'd have to physically take the big block with you. Um, so, yeah, you know, there's um, different different use cases. Okay. Uh, well, guys, if you are completely going, I don't know if I believe this, why would Dave recommend this? Because I think it works. <laughs> like, I'm just going to tell you, okay? Uh, and I reserve the right to be wrong. I reserve the right to change my mind should more information come to my attention. Right now, I'm really impressed. I think it works. I don't think that it's going to stop working. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have Philip back on the show for the third time. Uh, and it's quantumupgrade.io. And he's giving you two weeks for free. Just use code Dave. So there you go. Give it a try. Um, then... If you turn it on and kind of don't pay much attention to it and just leave it running, well, could you have done that on top of all the other things you're doing because it didn't take a lot of work? I would say this is less work than brushing your teeth every day. So it's probably worth it. <laughs> Philip, thanks for answering a bunch of questions about Quantum Upgrade. Thanks for having me on. That was great. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey.